Hi guys, today is part 2 of the Super Mario Brothers Skate Deck. In this video, I'm using both Liquitex and Paints from Angelus Direct to customize the Super Mario Brothers characters on this custom skate deck. This is part 2. If you want to watch part 1, there is a link up here on the left so you can see how I prepped the skateboard and how I started painting Koopa. Picking up right where I left off with Mario's hat, and this is the red, a Liquitex red, but I am also thinning it out with the chili red from Angelus Direct. Fast forward a bit on Mario's hat, I did use the Angelus Direct burgundy to add a little bit of depth to Mario's hat. As you can see, some areas are a tiny bit darker. What's really cool is the Angelus Direct paints are very similar colors to the Liquitex. The orange, the pink, the chili red, for example, are almost identical, just aside from the consistency. And because I'm not used to painting with such thick colors, Thinning them out just a little bit with the Angelus Drake paints made them very comfortable for me to use and I am very happy with how this is turning out. If you look super close, you can see this paintbrush is a very thin tip. It is a very fine line Japanese brush. It says size 100. I really don't know what that means, but I am using it for Mario's mustache hairs. To create just a tiny bit of realism in the eye, I am dipping my brush in the pale blue and I'm kind of making some tiny designs around the black pupil. I am using this same pale blue from Angela's Direct for most of the overalls. I don't need a lot of detail in Mario's overalls. I am using the sapphire blue and white, both from Angelus Direct, to create a little pocket detail and some threading. I will come back tomorrow at a later time to do a little bit more detail. For now, I am focusing on Princess Peach. I am using the Liquitex Pink and Rose for Princess Peach's sleeves. It is very, very similar color to the Angelus Direct Petal Pink that I used for the bottom of her dress. So this is where the big character switch occurs. First, I need to erase Toad from the skate deck. I had literally just come home from watching the new Super Mario Brothers movie, and I really wanted to put DK on here somewhere. As it was, he would not fit with him with Toad still on it. So I decided to just remove Toad and replace him with DK. Up above, there's another link to a different video I posted a couple weeks ago with a better explanation on how to use a Sorel transfer paper. I really want a green right beneath Donkey Kong and I'm thinking a gradient of some sort. So I'm going in with the Liquitex Sap Green first. I will not stick with only this green. I'll put another green on top. I just, I'm really tired of looking at that pink down there. My base coat for Donkey Kong is Vachetta. Vichetta. 
You really have to trust the process to make this work. As it was with just the vegeta, it looked like a disaster. But once I start adding the layers on top, the different gradients, the different colors, I'm able to really bring Donkey Kong out. This brush is a Princeton Select Size 18 short liner. I'm using it to do some of the finer hairs all over Donkey Kong's fur. And I am also using the colors from Angelus Direct. They are much thinner and they can create much better details. It is very easy to create a wood grain effect. You need a paintbrush with a very pronounced edge and I am dipping it in darker colors and lighter colors than what is already on the canvas. So my color is red on the canvas, so I'm dipping my brush in burgundy and a lighter red. The best way for this gradient to work is to keep everything wet. I am using the Liquitex Green and the Pale Blue from Angelus Direct. Just keep the brush moving, keep on blending until everything looks smooth. I just noticed that I left out a little bit of Princess Peach's hair. I'm looking at the reference right now and I see there is a big chunk missing from the side of her face. So I'm just going to freehand that in real quick. Adding a little bit more detail to Bowser's hands. This is the purple and I'm also brightened up the orange and yellow. I want it to be really bright and colorful just as his chin and face are. Now I don't need to add every single scale on Bowser's hands, I just need to suggest it because I have a little bit of paint on the end of the brush, I am just tapping it in. There was a lot of space directly behind the characters, it needed a little something, I went back to the printer, printed out some memorable symbols and I'm using the Sorrel transfer paper to transfer them on. They are very simple, just the turtle shell, the flower, the star, etc. This is the mint from Angelus Direct. I'm just painting the lines that I transferred on. This is a very simple Nintendo doodle. Back outside with the Rust-Oleum clear coat. It is well ventilated out here. I won't be breathing any toxic fumes and this clear coat will help protect the paint. And this is a complete Super Mario skate deck. If you have any questions, all of my contact information is down below as are links to all the products used in this video. If you like watching these, if they are inspiring you to paint, then be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Big thanks to Angelo's Direct for the paint, and thanks guys for watching.